I'm Grandkuda, the Predatory Lender. And today we're turning with Jart, with famed analyst and Wall Street trader Jart. We'll also be having a special guest appearance from Brian McCann of the Top 100 Traders. We at the Predatory Lending Network would like to welcome you to another exciting episode of Charting with Chart. Now we at the Predatory Lending Network have had our legal troubles in the past. And with that, that is where I found salvation and turned from the dark side away from my evil ways of piracy and with the help of our good friend Uncle Sam, we've been able to get a presidential pardon. And we are now working with the good guys, and they're now making some community service videos to help the young children throughout the galaxy. That has allowed me to spend some more time with my family as well. So, given that, and along with our special help from Brian McKeon of the Top 100 Traders, we at the Predatory Lending Network offer you a real insightful look to the work, inner workings of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So, we'd like to take a closer look at some of the Dow's most popular stocks by sending it over to Annie, the analyst. <laughs> to be a predator on the telephone, you can use AT&T when it's 6.3% bloody yield. And then, over here, mm, 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 you can get a 3.8% yield. But, if you want to do some drugs, you can take it down with Johnson & Johnson and Coca-Cola. Sip it all down with their 3.8% yields. Then, if you want to get a nice Hewlett Packard for all you online predators, you can get a 0.9% bloody yield. So I say, let's send it over to Char. Hey, Sandy! Now, 
will take that list any narrow down for us and go to the chart. Now first as always we like to look at the big chart or the die. Now let's look at the die. Now of course we've been in a nice recent uptrend since March and we are now firmly sitting above our averages but have a bit of upside resistance here at the 100 day. So we see this one consolidating a bit and has some good firm support down at the 40 and 50 day averages. But be warned of this stochastics being overbought. So now we'll take a closer look at the individual issues. Now we have McDonald's. Yummy, that's a fat one. Now this one also has been in an uptrend, but has quite a bit of resistance with its 200 day, 100 day, and 300. All in the same basic range. But we see some good support here too. So we see this one staying relatively range round. But be warned, stochastics, although it's showing a buy, it's also over. But and as for XM, this one has had a lot harder time getting above its averages. So we see this one possibly moving lower. As for Chevron, our disc of death says it's gonna be a bit range bound. And with stochastics rolling lower, we see this one ranging lower, but with some good support here as well. As for IBM, we really like this one for you online predators, because it's had a good breakout, and it's firmly above all its movement average, the 20, the 40, the 50, the 100, the 200, and even the 300. So we see some good strength for you online predators. As for some more you online perverts, we have HBQ or Hewlett Packard Compact. A small tiny one, huh? It has some good support and here with its averages and is now firmly above its 100 day. So we see this one with good support and could possibly break up to its 200 day movement averages. But be warned, Stochastics is overbought even though it's showing up. Bye 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 signal. As for the drugs, Johnson's and Johnson's, we're saying this one will probably give you a hangover since it can't get above any of its moving averages. And Stochastics is in the, ah, get me out of this one. Now, on to a nice cold Coca-Cola. We've had a nice run up here, and it's firmly sitting on its 100 day. And the fact that it's shorter term moving averages are moving to the bi upward dir bi direction. We see this one moving up to its 200 day. But be warned, Stochastics is indicating a down move, and balance of power is moving down as well. So be careful with this one. As for mm, 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 this one has had a nice breakout recently, up to its 100 day, but failed to break out. So we see this one consolidated in the trading range as well. And Stochastic to show and buy, but is also overbought, so watch out. As for AT&T, you telephone predators, this one is in a nice trading range as well. But Stochastics is indicating a keep me up, keep me up. So again, this is Chart taking it back to you at the studio. Thanks, Chart. Now remember, this is Grand Cougar, the predatory lender, saying thank you and see you next time. Ha 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 ha, my pretty.